Years later, it's a series where I take a look back on past pop culture and cinema and see if films that are 10 or more years older still hold up. Today's episode will be on The Fly. It was released on August 15th, 1986. So, does it hold up? What year is it? Whoa. What? <gasps> what year? No. What? Year is it? I do know that this is a remake of the original film that was released in the 50s or 60s, maybe 40s, who knows. But I do know that this is a remake, but the reason why I want to talk about the remake is because it's got Gina Davis, who I do like, and the only movie that I've seen her from was A League of Their Own with Tom Hanks. And then Jeff Goldblum is just, I don't know, he's fun to watch. He's cool, you know? It was just cool seeing these two young actors who were, I don't know, if they do their first films, or I'm assuming it's not, but if this is Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis's first film, I'd actually be shocked. Again, I should have done a lot more research. I'm just too got in lazy but either way this movie i haven't really heard about this movie at all it's like a body horror really dug it i think this is a cool film this movie is here for is the practical stuff as long as you have a compelling good story throughout the whole film whatever it leads up to this whole fly eating thing then it should all be good and that's what gina davis and jeff goldman is here for these two characters while i didn't love them they did what they needed to do have good chemistry with each other establish who they are and what they do and from there on out it should all be good essentially and it was jeff goldman is like this scientist who slowly goes mad because of it failed experiment trying to convince gina davis who's a journalist teleportation works so he brings her to his office her stalking she gives it to him it teleports from one pod to another pod and he starts recording it and he doesn't really like the fact that she's recording he wants to keep this very secret underground type stuff because it's not a successful teleportation like you can teleport objects but you can't teleport human being like living things so that's the issue that he's running into the majority of the first half he's trying to figure out with gina davis as they establish their bond and relationship getting closer to each other that hey we can you know fix this and so that's the whole story in like the first half or at least the majority of it and i'm fine with that like it's a romantic thing which i don't really care about that stuff but i don't know i guess i'm willing to forget this one because i just really like these two actors and seeing them again like i only know them later in the career seeing them this young was just kind of like yeah this is what they were doing back in the day before he was in jurassic park or gina davis was in a league of their own and whatnot like it's just always interesting for me to go back and look at actors now that i know now in their you know older years going back and watching them in their younger years but as they get closer and closer gina davis's ex-boyfriend who just this has a talk the shit out of her who's still very much in love with her she's clearly done with them and finds them disgusting and i thought this would be kind of an annoyance of the film but this character and this plot thread would actually come back later on and help regina davis's character to help jeff goldman get out of his situation because i thought it was gonna be like a one and done and then she actually asks for his help later on and so after they have sex for like three times i think they successfully transform a living thing into the first part to the second part at first it doesn't work they actually kill a monkey which is pretty horrifying they actually brought out his other brother jeff goldman mentioned that he killed his first brother but after that is successful gina davis Davis has to go deal with personal stuff and so Goldblum decides to experiment on himself but the one big fatal mistake is a goddamn fly okay it goes into that pod thing he teleports into the second pod coming out all relatively the same but eventually you will know that you know this will turn him into some kind of freak and all of it was the cause of that one goddamn fly I hate flies that like whenever it gets to my house I'm like god damn it I like have to stop everything whatever I'm doing recording listening watching the YouTube video and I actually have to find and kill this goddamn fly because they create maggots and it's annoying and there's actually like a maggot scene in this film which is really messed up and creepy when i first saw it throughout this film whenever he comes back out in this second pod we see the changes we see that he has more strength more stamina he has sex longer with gina davis and like you see him doing acrobatics gymnastics stuff and he like swings up in his roof or not roof but like in his like little experiment house and just goes up and down like stuff like that was like this is cool to see but it's also very much a warning it's not really himself no more we see that because he wants to have gina davis be inside the pod and teleport herself but she doesn't want it it's as if he's almost forcing her and so that's like the first change of like you know the first sign he goes out and gets another woman has sex with her and asks her the same thing that he asked gina davis come in the pot with me teleport and he really wants this to happen and his whole plan after this whole change is to create more babies i not babies but to create more of himself which is flies and maggots and so after gina davis realizes that she has a nightmare so this nightmare she gives birth to a goddamn giant ass maggot that shit was creepy and i guess the big scare factor the whole big fear of this whole movie is seeing a close one or a loved one that you know is not evil or bad in any way seeing them change completely 180 and turn into this creature and freak is the biggest fear and knowing the fact that you could possibly kill this person that you really care about knowing that you don't want to do it but you have to at some point having to come to the realization that you might need to get rid of this person and so that's where gina davis's character comes in
comes in. That's her biggest fear. Shane just goes up, cheats on Gina Davis, and he wants to leave. And then they do give us a time frame four weeks later where he calls for help for Gina Davis and he's unrecognizable. The prosthetics look pretty good still. Bitting out goo and stuff. Like the first line was his hair and us was coming out of that hair, which is pretty gross. It was like pimples on his back, just with like very sharp hair or something like that. Ear stops coming off, which is really gross but awesome. Like at some point everything's gonna come off. And this is clearly a transformation into the big fly. I guess the biggest fly of all time. And then as more time passes, Gina Davis is asking her extra help, the outcomes and possibilities of helping and finding some kind of vaccine or shot for Goldblum's character. But it is all too late because at some point, you know, the ex goes into the house. One of his legs and arms get like basically deep fried and melted. Really cool effect. Gina Davis has to come in to basically stop. She doesn't want to kill this person that she fell in love with throughout this whole film. That's just not a possibility no more. And so by the end, he like puts her in a teleporter. He knows that she has a baby. She wants his baby out because she doesn't have his kid. That's going to be like a big ass maggot. So the ex actually does something good for once and shoots the core so that Gina Davis' pod can't like teleport. And the only one that teleports is Goldblum and the fully transformed fly. Most of it, I'm assuming, was here stuff. And like the goo was like, you know, added on during onset thing. So the final look, the final boss looked pretty damn cool. Teleports comes out all dead, but not quite yet because Gina Davis has to do the one thing, the big explosion. <laughs> She does it. The shotgun, I think, and shoots his head. His head explodes in an amazing way. It looks beautiful. And yeah, she has to kill this lover. This guy that she wants to know. Completely change and transform into a goddamn fly. And all of this happened because a stupid goddamn fly. So in the end, the fly 1986, this remake, I very much enjoyed. Like, you know, it's the whole love thing. It's like, I don't care about that. But I do like Goldblum and Davis as actors. So I was like, you know what? I don't mind it. And then to see the change within Goldblum and to see the worry on Davis's face and just trying to figure out what to do to help this man that she truly loves after all her efforts her biggest fears come true well one that pregnancy magazine disgusting but awesome and scary and two the big fear is seeing someone that you love or a close to one or loved one completely change out of nowhere and having to basically kill them and you don't really want that the fly 1986 remake 35 years later it still holds up it is still pretty damn good so that's it for me this has been the world so far and thank you for watching